to the 2017 U.S. Sumo Open. And now it's time for the grand finale of the U.S. Sumo Open, the men's openweight division. That's right, earlier today we saw the lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight matches. Now competitors of all sizes from all divisions will go head-to-head -head in this openweight competition. And here's a great example of a size differential. On the left, Grant at 277 pounds, Cornelius at 187. Cornelius takes it down, 90 pound differential. Look at that victory getting inside. And now we have Anton, the number two lightweight at 187 pounds against Ryan, a heavyweight at 273. And Anton was number two silver medalist in the lightweight competition earlier. Ryan is from New Jersey, Anton is from Ukraine. And you can see Anton, the smaller man, is inside. His arms and his head are inside his opponent which is very good, although his head is bent. His neck is really bent there. He should ideally have his forehead into his opponent's chest, but he is hanging in there, and that prevents Ryan from pushing him out. Anton gets him to the edge. Nice victory by the much smaller man. And you can see in the replay, great footwork by Anton getting under and forcing Ryan out. There were plenty of dynamic matches leading up to the open weight quarterfinals this year. Yes, out of 28 competitors in the open weight, the field got whittled down to eight quarterfinalists. Eight quarter okay, let's take a closer look at these eight competitors. First of all, there is Biamba, the perennial favorite. Earlier today here, he won the heavyweight division for the 10th time in 11 years with that victory. And in fact, his overall U.S. Sumo Open record is 102 wins and only four losses. Here he is in the open weight competition today. And here he is defeating Dave in the first round. And he goes on to face Gurpreet from India in the second round. Yamba makes easy work of him too, and unsurprisingly, Yamba's in the quarterfinals. And here's Konstantin, the sole Russian competitor. And here he defeats Cornelius to advance to the quarterfinals. Konstantin suffered disappointment earlier in the middleweight division when he lost in one of the opening matches to Tuvshu from Mongolia, which leads him to face Altonyag in the middleweight quarterfinals. This is the man who he lost to in the final match last year. Konstantin lost early in the middleweight division. He's determined to make up for it here in the openweight. Here's Trent Sabo from Idaho, who earlier won the lightweight gold medal. And here Trent goes against Grizzly from Norway, a much larger opponent. Great throw down there by Trent. Trent goes on to face Danny, who was a heavyweight semifinalist at 312 pounds, and Trent pulls him down as well, advancing to the quarterfinals. It's amazing that Trent, a lightweight, makes it this far in the openweight competition. Just a superb performance by Trent. Earlier today, he won the lightweight division. This is the final match. He went undefeated, and so far he's also undefeated in the openweight division. And here we have Tuvshu, the middleweight silver medalist. Tuvshu at 235 pounds against Emmanuel at 295 pounds. With this victory, Tuvshu moves on to the quarterfinals. And here's a great match of his earlier where he won the middleweight semifinals. The only man that could beat Tuvshu in the middleweight division is this man, Altanoyak. Indeed, Altanoyak has been undefeated so far in the middleweight division getting the gold medal and here he is overpowering multiple heavyweight opponents in the openweight division. Look at the strength on him lifting up a larger opponent, moving on to the quarterfinals. And Altanoyak has been just brilliant for the last two years, undefeated 14-0 in the middleweight division during these two years. Here's last year's middleweight finals, going against Konstantin, where Altanoyak wins the gold medal, just like he beat Konstantin earlier today in the middleweight quarterfinals. And here's some of his dominant matches in the middleweight division earlier today. Defeating opponent after opponent with ease. He faces Takeshi, who is the bronze medalist, defeats him and also beats his countryman Tuvshu. Can he continue this dominance in the open weight division? And here's Takeshi, the five-time Japanese university champion. And Takeshi makes quick work of the much larger Colton from Canada. 
And then Takeshi, the middleweight bronze medalist, faces Anton from the Ukraine, who is the lightweight silver medalist. Anton tries to get that head in as he always does. Takeshi negates it and forces Anton out. Moving on to the quarterfinals. Look at the great technique here. Takeshi spins to the side and forces Anton straight out. Great victory for the Japanese competitor. And here's Takeshi earlier today in the middleweight bronze medal match against Jaskanwar from India. Takeshi was in the semifinals last year but couldn't get a medal. Now if he wins this, he will get his first medal in the middleweight. He gets the bronze right there. Can he continue this and do even better in the open weight division? Here's another great Mongolian wrestler, Bolbatar. Bolbatar in the opening rounds takes down Gabe from Michigan. And then he faces the U.S. heavyweight champion, Sean from Oregon. 202 pounds versus 351 pounds. Looks like it's a done deal here as Sean lifts Bolbatar up repeatedly. Bolbatar hanging on for dear life there. Sean does an arm bar with both his arms lifting Bolbatar. Bolbatar sidestepping and resisting, staying in the ring, and Bolbatar sinking low and twisting, turns the tables on Sean and defeats him. This definitely looked like a clear victory for Sean. Bolbatar's technique and determination overcame the size difference. And check it out, at the edge of the ring, Bolbatar leaped through the air to make sure that Sean hit the ground first. And Bolbatar for the win. Bolbatar has been dominant in the past few years, winning a silver medal in the lightweight division. He since has gained a few pounds to go into the middleweight, but he has the ability to take down opponents of any size. In the past couple of years, he also entered the openweight competition. And here he is going against opponents double his weight versus Johannes from Germany. An easy win for Bolbatar. What dynamic sumo. And he has the potential to do very well, even in the open weight division. Let's meet the last quarterfinalist, Yevgeny from the Ukraine. And in the opening rounds, Yevgeny had an easy road to the quarterfinals, defeating middleweight competitor TJ, and then facing lightweight quarterfinalist John, sidestepping, and a straight push out right there. Earlier today, Yevgeny was awesome, winning the silver medal in the heavyweight competition. And here he is in the semifinals of the heavyweight, perhaps his best match, where 280-pound Yevgeny beats 459-pound Rami, bringing him into the finals. Can Yevgeny continue his success in the openweight division? The field of 28 openweight competitors is now down to eight quarterfinalists. What a lineup here in the openweight quarterfinals. Normally it's all heavyweights, but here we see only two heavyweights, five middleweights, and even a lightweight in the quarterfinals. I've never seen anything like this. Biamba at 336, Yevgeny 280, Altanyar 253, Takeshi 245, Konstantin 241, Tuvshu 235, Boldbatar only 202 pounds, and Trent weighed in at 187 pounds. What a lineup of quarterfinalists. And here's Biamba, the virtual perennial US Sumo Open champion. He won the heavyweight division earlier for the 10th year, and he's the favorite to win the open weight as well, versus Constantine, who had a real letdown in the middleweight division. Biamba weighs in at 336 pounds, but all the other seven quarterfinalists are 280 pounds or less. Anything can happen, though. Both of these guys are top-notch athletes. And Biamba from Mongolia, Konstantin from Russia. Biamba pushes him back, Konstantin sidesteps. Konstantin evades him, Biamba's off balance. Konstantin with the victory. Oh my goodness, this is the biggest upset of the day. 241 pound Konstantin takes down the four-time world champion, Biamba. This is what I love about sumo, is you can never really predict the winner. With that loss, Biamba's record in 11 years is 104 wins and only five losses, five losses in 11 years. Konstantin goes on to the semifinals. And now Tufshu versus Trent. The winner will face Konstantin. Trent, the lightweight champion at 187 pounds. Tufshu, the silver medalist in the middleweight at 235 pounds. And here's the start. Trent leaps out, leg sweep, defeating Tufshu to move on to the semifinals. Again, a totally unexpected victory. It just goes to show you that in sumo, technique is at least as important as size. Just incredible, just like in the lightweight, Trent is showing such an arsenal of techniques to beat opponent after opponent. He is currently 8-0, undefeated in the lightweight, and so far, undefeated in the openweight as well. The quarterfinalists include four Mongolians, one Japanese, 
one Russian, one Ukrainian, and even one American. And amazingly, the four Mongolians are each matched up against one of the four non-Mongolians, so potentially we could see all four Mongolians going against each other in the semifinals. This is going to be good. Otahoyag versus Takeshi. Earlier in the middleweight, Otahoyag won gold and Takeshi won bronze. And they fought earlier today in the middleweight semifinals. Otahoyag on the left, Takeshi on the right. Takeshi a little smaller, trying to get inside position. And Otahoyag just holding him off. Both have excellent technique. Both guys were semifinalists last year as well. Atanyag actually went undefeated last year and this year in the middle. He pulls Takeshi down. Takeshi cannot keep his feet under him. Let's see what happens now in their open weight quarterfinal match. And they start out just like the first match. Takeshi struggling to get inside. Atanyag trying to keep Takeshi at bay. He doesn't want Takeshi to get the belt deep inside. Looks like Takeshi has his right hand on the belt. Atanayag being defensive, waiting for his chance. He may try another pull down like he did earlier today in the middleweight. Takeshi spinning him now. Oh, it is over. And the moment that Atanayag's hand goes down right there, the match is already over. You can see Takeshi spinning and pulling back, knocking the larger man off balance. What a great victory. And that sends Takeshi to the semifinals. The last quarterfinal match is Bulbatar versus Yevgeny. Now, Bulbatar is an expert at taking down bigger opponents, but Yevgeny is extremely skilled. Bulbatar at 202 pounds, Yevgeny at 280 pounds, and Yevgeny sidesteps, spins, and pulls Bulbatar down. Yevgeny is facing Takeshi in the semifinals. That's right, now for the semifinals. Who would have ever expected that these would be the top four guys in the entire field? That's right, we have Konstantin from Russia at 241 pounds. He was last year's middleweight silver medalist. Takeshi from Japan, 245 pounds. He just won the bronze medal in the middleweight earlier. Trent, the undefeated lightweight champion today. He's currently 8-0, oh, only 187 pounds. And from Ukraine, we have Yevgeny at 280 pounds. He won the silver in the heavyweight earlier. Something else that jumps out at us when we look at the semifinalists is the absence of Mongolians. Earlier we saw there were four Mongolians in the quarterfinals and all four of them lost to these four semifinalists. This sequence of consecutive upsets is unprecedented in 17 years of U.S. Sumo Open history. In the semifinals we have a lightweight, two middleweights, and a very small heavyweight. It's so bizarre because normally in the open weight, all of the top finishers are the bigger heavyweights. The first semifinal matchup is between Trent from the USA versus Konstantin from Russia. Now nobody has beaten Trent today. He goes in low, Konstantin anticipates it, takes him down quickly. That's a one second match. Konstantin is going to the finals. And now we have Takeshi from Japan versus Yevgeny from the Ukraine. Takeshi the middleweight bronze medalist and Yevgeny the heavyweight silver medalist. What a great matchup. Here's the start, Takeshi. Trying to get in quickly, trying to get a good grip inside Yevgeny's guard. Yevgeny really wants to keep Takeshi away and off of his belt. And Yevgeny forcing Takeshi towards the edge of the ring. Takeshi hanging in there. Yevgeny pulls him down. Takeshi recovers amazing footwork to stay in the match without falling down. Takeshi still fighting to get that inside position. Both guys locked up in the center of the ring here. Takeshi really wants a grip on that belt. Yevgeny does not want to let him inside. A lot of patience here by Takeshi, waiting for his opportunity, but he's at the edge of the ring. Quick push by Yevgeny and it could be all over. Now remember, Yevgeny competed in the 2012 Olympic Games in Greco-Roman wrestling. He's a tremendous athlete. Takeshi is the five-time Japanese National University Sumo Champion. What an incredible matchup. Takeshi gets his right hand in. Looks like he has the belt. Great advantage for Takeshi now. He really wanted to get that belt. He has a good leverage point. And he has a lot more control over Yevgeny here. This is a key point in the match where Takeshi gets that belt and he gets his head in. Both guys being very cautious here. Yevgeny not trying anything too sudden, too risky. Takeshi also taking his time, moving Yevgeny back now toward the edge of the ring. Takeshi's kind of feeling him out, waiting for a chance to push or to pull. Yevgeny staying in there, waiting for his chance. Both guys very sensitive, feeling out their opponent's movements. Now it looks like Takeshi's pushing. 
and a pull down. Takeshi pulls him down for the victory. Takeshi looks exhausted, but he's going to the finals. And Yevgeny will have to settle for the third place match. Here it is, Takeshi with the pull down. Just amazing timing. Takeshi waits for the right moment and pulls Yevgeny down. What a match. We're down to the wire, going to the third place match. Trent from Idaho coming in at 187 pounds versus Yevgeny, the Ukrainian, at 280 pounds. So far, lightweight champion Trent is 8-1, and, and Yevgeny, the heavyweight silver medalist, is 7-2. Ooh, Yevgeny sidesteps. Trent trying to stay in there, flips around. Yevgeny's too much for him and pulls him down. Trent is trying all kinds of acrobatics, but Yevgeny has the match under control and gets the bronze medal. Both men finish the tournament with records of eight wins, two losses. Well, Trent didn't get an open weight medal, but making it into the semifinals as a lightweight is quite an accomplishment. Let's not forget, he is also the undefeated lightweight champion. Trent's success at this event has been spectacular. Out of 17 American guys competing, Trent is the only one with a winning record at eight wins, two losses. One other American guy, Cornelius, was three and three, and the other 15 Americans had losing records. Most of them couldn't even win a single match. Trent won almost as many matches as the other 16 Americans combined. It's obvious why Trent Sabo has been the perennial U.S. lightweight champion for years. This is truly history in the making. There have been 120 matches so far today. This is match 121. Konstantin from Russia, Takeshi from Japan, both middleweight competitors in 17 years of the U.S. Sumo Open history. This has never happened where two middleweights are facing each other in the final match of the openweight division. There has always been at least a heavyweight in the openweight finals. Last year at the 2016 U.S. Sumo Open, Konstantin and Takeshi fought twice Constantine in the black, taking an advantage here, thrusting away at Takeshi, gets a good belt grip, and he has Takeshi under control here. Now Takeshi last year was only about 210 pounds, he's up to 245 pounds, so let's see if that makes a difference, but last year, easy lift out by Constantine in the middleweight, and when they fought later in the semifinals, Constantine again thrusting away at Takeshi, again grabs the belt and flips him down, so Takeshi has lost twice to Constantine, but this year, Takeshi's trained a lot more and he's gained 35 pounds. Let's see if it makes a difference or if Constantine will capture the gold. And here we are at the final match of the 2017 U.S. Sumo Open. So far, Takeshi is 8-1 and one today, but Constantine had a weak showing in the middleweight, and he's 4-2 and two overall today. But both men are undefeated so far in the openweight division. This is the grand finale. It's been a very long day, and the crowd of 4,000 fans has thinned out, but all the diehards are staying around for the most important match of the 2017 U.S. Sumo Open. Constantine from Russia, Takeshi from Japan, who's it gonna be? These guys have gotta be exhausted. It's all adrenaline at this point. Here's the start of the final match. Constantine comes out pretty hard, forcing Takeshi back. Pivot move, Takeshi wins the gold medal in the open weight division. What a phenomenal showing today by Takeshi. Bronze medal in the middleweight and gold medal in the open weight. Oh yeah, and what a great display of sportsmanship by both open weight finalists. And let's check out the replay of the match here. Constantine has the momentum driving forward. Takeshi swivels and pivots, pulling Constantine down for the victory. What great sensitivity and technique by Takeshi from Japan. In fact, Japanese sumo wrestlers have won gold medals at the U.S. Sumo Open in 2001, 2005, and 2006. So it's been an 11-year drought. Takeshi has recaptured the gold for Japan here at the 2017 U.S. Sumo Open. It has been an amazing day of shocking upsets and David versus Goliath victories, including Konstantin from Russia, going against four-time world sumo champion Biamba, catching him off balance for the victory in the open weight division. This is one of the most memorable matches of the day as the young Russian beats the indomitable Biamba. And the American competitor Trent won the lightweight division and also took down many much larger opponents in the open weight, making it all the way to the semifinals. Trent is truly an inspiration to American sumo competitors. 
And then there's the openweight champion Takeshi. Years of training in Japan paid off as he exhibited tremendous strength, dexterity, and timing. In the final match of the openweight division, he faced his rival, who he's never beaten, Constantine, to win the gold medal. This has been one of the most dramatic sumo tournaments ever. And now for the award ceremony, Yevgeny from Ukraine wins the openweight bronze medal to add to his heavyweight silver medal earlier. Konstantin from Russia, a middleweight competitor, gets the openweight silver medal. And finally, Takeshi from Japan wins the openweight gold medal, bringing back the title to a Japanese sumo wrestler after 11 years. This has truly been a historical event. And here's Takeshi receiving the coveted U.S. Sumo Open trophy. If you enjoyed these open weight matches, be sure to also watch the lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight videos of the 2017 U.S. Sumo Open.